Black chair time, Wendy. Crikey, these boots Let's are just it. flying by, aren't they? August tomorrow. Look at the heat. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful day. Absolutely, Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. got some great questions for you this week. Brilliant. Um, keep it on um, theme with the hot sunny weather. Mm -hmm. Can fish get sunburnt? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, so the, the best thing for any koi pond would be a cover like what we have on our main pond. Um, it doesn't suit every pond. Um, not that not everybody's going to want to put a cover on the pond like that, but there's some big advantages. And one of them is it will help stop your fish getting skin problems. I mean, just like people, if you sit out in the sun day after day, year on year, um, you get issues, a bit like skin cancer and things like that. Uh, so a bit of shading definitely would be a good idea. Um, one, one way of achieving that in a pond that is out in full sun, plants. Floating plants. Floating plants. They are lilies and also um, lettuces. Yeah. Now the question is, if you put those lettuces in with your koi, they're gonna chew them up, aren't they? And that is that's, one of the problems, yeah. yeah. What you need is a nursery for them. Dead easy to do, get a floating net. You put your first lot of water lettuce straight into your net and they will quickly multiply. Each of them shoots out a new shoot and before you know where you are, your net will be full of them and you can start taking those lettuce and putting them out onto the top of your pond. And if a few of them get chewed by your koi... Not a problem. Not no. a problem. We've got some big ones out there on mm. the front at the moment, like big cauliflowers, they're massive. Yeah, they're, and they're really they're nice. They're spouting off like crazy. It must be the hot weather again. But I've never seen them as big as the, we've got them this year. But no, um, massive. Massive, yeah. <laughs> but the koi do like shade. Yeah. Um, I think because a lot of people build ponds in the open uh, and they've got crystal clear water, um, they, they forget that the fish do need some sort of protection, some reassurance. It's not something you think about, is it, till it happens? No. But yes, they can. And... Uh, Cover your pond if you can. Bit or a sail. Sh yeah, they're popular. Bit of bamboo or something like that. I'll help with that. It's not just koi that we sell at the Japanese water gardens. I'm going to give you a quick tour around. As soon as you come in through the front door, you'll see a great selection of accessories for the reptiles. And of course, we have a reptile room with tortoises. Herman tortoises in there at the moment. Snakes, they don't tend to come out much in the daytime because they're nocturnal. And bearded dragons. He's enjoying basking under his heat light as well. So we're underway with the school holidays, second day of the school holidays today. So we've got lots of children about, which gave me reason to be thinking, and we've had a young lad coming in the shop for the past few weeks, mm. obviously um, setting up a little project with his dad, building a little garden pond. So what age do you think it's best to introduce children to water outside, building ponds? Well, a lot, a lot of kids will get an interest in it. You know, maybe they, they might be five or six years old when they start to get interested in fish. Before, before we say anything, I mean, safety. safety. Yeah. If Paramount. you build a pond in your garden and you've got kids, make sure that pond is behind a gate, um, has got some sort of proper cover on the pond, because we don't want anybody... I'm thinking of sort of older children, sort of seven, yeah. eight... They're just getting into wanting into gardening a little bit, and that's what this young young lad's coming yeah. in. He's buying a few little plants. He's bought a little preformed pond. I'm expecting him back today to buy a few fish, and he's so excited. It's lovely mm. to see, um, and he's got. He just seems to have a lot of interest. So, again, school holidays, got time to do it. Doesn't have to be costly. No, not at all. You know, any container that can hold water. Kids I'm answering love the fish. questions here, Lee. I'm answering no, that's my own good. question. <laughs> no, I think I think this is a really interesting subject yeah. because I'm quite enthusiastic about it. I've even printed out a oh. little sheet. <clears throat> I'll put that up on the screen. Yeah, a little How to build dead simple. a mini wildlife pond. Kids find all this Anything kind of stuff. Anything to do water. Really interesting. Animals, water. And plants. you know, 
it teaches them to respect nature. It gives them um, an, an interest apart from just going on a computer and doing all them kind of yeah, things. Yeah, great activity Kids to do with your mum or your dad or a family member. Again, and it's a project, a little, just a little project that's not going to cost a fortune. Exactly, and get them out there, get them helping you with the spade and it, it's fresh air, it's nature, it's science, it's yeah. all sorts of things, Biology. water testing. Yeah, it's great a bit of everything. thing. Yeah. And Counting kids love how many it. fish you've got. <laughs> Absolutely. If, if your child's got an interest in it, I, I would embrace it because they can learn a lot. And they do they really enjoy. Can. They, they love coming and buying the fish, of course, as well. Mm. And feeding, feeding the. They do, yeah. The nourishment, yeah. I'm enthusiastic about more children. <laughs> Excellent. You won't find a better selection of pipe fittings anywhere. Two inch and inch and a half pressure fittings, union couplings. 90 degree elbows, 110 mil, 4 inch, you name it, we've got plenty of it. We even have a great selection of smaller pipe fittings, which a lot of people use if they're installing a marine aquarium. Valves of every shape and size. All manner of small pipe fittings. <clears throat> Let's just talk about this lady that's been in, Lee. Um, she's got high ammonia in her pond. Yeah. Um, she said she's got high ammonia but I think you'd like to explain mm. that it's perhaps just not that straightforward, it's not one. So, so what happened is a customer comes in the pond with eye ammonia and obviously they want to know what they can do about it. Um, the thing is that just knowing that you've got eye ammonia, it is not enough information to enable you to do something constructive about it. Uh, you do also need to test your other water parameters as well, especially pH. In this case, it turned out that this lady had very low pH. Um, and the low pH <clears throat> was actually causing the ammonia to become concentrated in the water. Because when you've got low pH, your biological filtration will not be able to break down that ammonia and it will just become more and more concentrated. You must test the pH, the ammonia, the nitrites. You must get the whole, whole picture. picture. Yeah. If you're going to give you some useful advice, it's not, not just to get one little snippet of information. Get the whole picture, and then we can work out, or you can work out, what's going wrong. Um, so I thought that was going to take ages to explain. <laughs> yeah, <I did. laughs> Have we got, can we have another, a bonus question this week? A bonus question. There's a big selection of pond pumps. Here's the ever popular Vary Pump from Evolution Aqua, one of the most popular pumps that we sell. UV lights, all different sizes, and a variety of box set filters. These are extremely popular because they're amazing value for money. Um. Let's think. Young chap just asked me about an hour yeah. ago, uh, about how he can go about building a pond. He wanted a pond. pond. He was he a want fisherman, wasn't he? Enjoyed, fisherman. Enjoyed fishing. Enjoys, loves fish, interesting fish. Always mm. wanted a pond. Um, and he'd been looking at something called an infinity pond. Uh, an infinity pond is a small pond about 100 it's a gallons. It's like that down there, look. Exactly the same <laughs> as this. And they have a window in the front. And he, he asked me what I thought about them. I think they're a good starter pond, um, but you will quickly fill a pond like that with fish. If your main focus is the fish, this is not the way to go. Um, there are numerous ways of building ponds. You can build them out of concrete blocks. You can build them out of timber. You can build them by putting a footing in the ground, scooping all the earth out, putting a liner into it, that's called concrete collar method. That's often overlooked nowadays. I think a lot of people hear the term koi pond and they immediately assume it's a concrete box. It doesn't have to be that. There's lots of different ways, lots of interesting uh, ways that you can create a pond. And at the end of the day, the pond is your pond, so you can try a different idea, come up with something new. Um, I'm, all, I'm all in favour of that. A full range of treatments for your pond, 
including this one, the very popular Blanket Answer. It's the only thing that we recommend to get rid of blanket weed. I think the infinity ponds are great for people with limited space and they want to have something nice in the garden and it probably is more about the plants, not necessarily about the fish. Yes. This particular gentleman is interested in fish. Oh, big that's, in it. That's his Gets focus. his phone out and yeah. showing us all Absolutely the photographs adores and everything. Fish, all different sorts of fish. So mm. I think for him, this wouldn't fit the bill. No. Because he's only going to be disappointed. He won't be able to put the type of fish he wants to keep in there. Mm. But for other people, it's a bit like having a fat flower arrangement in your front room. It's something pretty attractive, but it's not necessarily about the fish. It's about the wa bit of water in your garden. Mm. So on this occasion for him, I don't think it would. It wasn't. He wasn't. He wouldn't be happy with that. He needs more. I wish he would have. Uh, I would have had the camera when he was in because. He was very chatty and it's I think enthusiasm. he would have gone on this and he would yeah. have explained. His enthusiasm was He was, definitely. Yes. In the aquarium section, we've got approximately 50 aquariums. My favourite fish at the moment, discus. Good looking fish these. How much are your discus, Courtney? £65 each, three for £175. I'm going to sit here and let Wendy say the whole thing this week. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, is it? Well, on a very hot, sunny day, um, I think it's time to go. We need a bit of shade ourselves, otherwise we'll be getting sunburnt. Um, so enjoy the weather, enjoy the school holidays, and let's make the most of keeping the fish. Thank you. You didn't butt in. <laughs> <clears throat>